This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Jackie Warrington with me. You are with the Lombardy Fair Agricultural Society. You are here to do your ad advertising director position. And it's so nice because COVID sort of took things away from us, but you guys are full force with a lot of things going on right now. We do have a lot of things. So it's nice to be back in the in action. Absolutely, absolutely. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is the pancake supper. Yes, so we're happy to have that back. Um, we're partnering up with the Smith Falls site of the Perth and Smith Falls District Hospital Foundation. And on Tuesday, February 21st, you can come to the Agricultural Hall from four till seven and enjoy some delicious, fluffy homemade pancakes, sausages, maple syrup, and homemade baked beans and it's a free will donation and all the proceeds raised will be split equally between uh, the Smith Falls site of the Hospital Foundation and the Lombardy Agricultural Society. All right now who have you got in the kitchen? Oh we'll all <laughs> be taking turns. <laughs> we have some wonderful volunteers that step up and uh, they'll uh, work on the sausages the day before and uh, make sure they're nice and crispy and yummy. And, and uh, yeah, we have a lot of wonderful volunteers, uh, not only from our own group, but we have um, some of the hospital foundation uh, volunteers are also coming to help man it, uh, clean up the tables, you know, socialize, pour coffee, all the things that need to be done to make this work. I, I mean, and you, your society too, though, you, you, you're so helpful to our community for our events and everything like that too. And I mean, I, I kid around about who's, who's going to be in the kitchen because you always have so many people always willing to help out at any event that's going on out there. We are extremely fortunate to have a wonderful support system of volunteers in our community. And how long have you been with the society? Um, about 10 years officially. Okay. Um, unofficially, probably closer to 15. <laughs> <laughs> you got voluntold a few times and then you got hooked, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> now, family day too. You've got a big event going on too, with a lot of help from the community too. Yes, we do. Um, we're excited to have this. We were hoping to have this a couple years ago, but unfortunately COVID, uh, reared its ugly head again and we had to cancel before really things, anything got off the ground. But we're very excited to welcome the Leeds County Draft Horse Club. The Teamsters are bringing out some of their teams and sleighs, or hopefully Mother Nature is going to help us, and it's going to be sleighs. If not, it'll be wagon rides. Um, also, we have wonderful support from uh, the Smith Falls Country, uh, Country Diner in here in Smith Falls, as well as the Garden Market, who are donating uh, hot dogs, cookies, and hot chocolate. Uh, to the day and we have a couple of people that are working on some games and stuff and this is a completely free event on family day from 11 30 till 3 at the grounds and i mean they made Just this our way of giving something back to the community absolutely and you always do you always do and i mean they made this holiday years ago so family could spend the day together you know, we get yes. to the mid-February and you've, you've got the blues from, you know, there's nothing to do. There's no events, that sort of thing. So they made this holiday so you can spend some time with your family. So when you, you, you make events like this, it just makes it so much fun. Yeah, yeah. And who doesn't love a horse sleigh ride? <laughs> I know, I know. And I do hope it's going to be a sleigh ride, but they are, have the capability to make it a wagon ride if need be. If we need to, yes. The the Teamsters are all uh, already looking forward to looking at the forecast coming up and uh, aren't we all though and we just hope it's going to be a wonderful turnout and uh, we just look look forward to seeing faces again and smiling and having some good time and some com some community uh, companionship absolutely i mean if we can go back to the pancake supper to the pancake uh, supper the ones you've had in the past pre-covid my goodness you filled the hall Oh, we filled the hall. Yes. Mm -hmm. Waiting um, on I, if memory serves me, we served over 700 people. Um, maybe not the last one we had, but uh, in in the past ones that we have hosted, either by the Egg, so Egg Society or the Tri Church, because we kind of took it over from the Lombardy Tri Churches, um, there was well over probably about 700 people served. 
Excellent. And I mean, your hall too, is, the parking is wonderful too. It's right there. There's so much parking space and everything. It's not, uh, yeah. you know, crowded or you have to walk a few blocks to get there or anything like that. You've got amazing parking too. So you've got another event coming up now. You're, you're supporting the 4-H club. They're using the hall and that's a smoked beef supper that's coming up. And that's February 17th. Yes. So uh, we were approached by the uh, 4-H, <clears throat> Lombardi 4-H clubs. Um, Chris Burt, um, one of his, his daughter is a four, long time 4 H'er, and of course, as a lot of you know, the 4 H Dairy Club show at our fair, and uh, some of the other clubs, 4 H Lombardy clubs, also use our grounds for different events throughout the year and so forth. So, we're excited uh, to be offering them the space to have this beef dinner. Um, on uh the friday night i guess it's february 17th so i don't have the information here in front of me um but uh yeah and all the proceeds are going to help better these chill this this fabulous um uh, program for children of our community Absolutely. so it's not not my understanding is it's not necessarily going to the dairy club or the goat club or whatever it's kind of being used as a roundabout to boost awareness first off but also you know we've had uh we had four local 4-h dairy clubs folks that uh made it to the royal fair this year which was huge um so just promote awareness i guess that's right and you are right it'll it's be february. a great dinner i know that <laughs> oh it will be yes and you are right it's february 17th February 17th. Now, I, I, there, here's a surprise question for you because I, I think it surprises people when they hear too. The fair. I know it, in most people's mind, it's like, my goodness, that's August long weekend. That's so far away. When you're organizing a fair, you, you guys are together monthly and then, you know, you get closer to it. it it's a lot of organizing and, and planning. You, you must be doing yes. it already. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Um, basically, when the fair ends the previous year, we take a month to catch our breaths and we start right in on it again. Right. That's right. So by October, we're already, you know, starting to the preliminary of, you know, what do we need to ch change? Who do we want to welcome back? You know, that type of stuff. Um, so, yeah, we are we actually have a director's meeting tonight where we'll uh, know a little more detail about uh where we stand at the moment um last year was really hard and uh we're doing the very best we can to not have a repeat of last year just to circumstances way beyond our control but uh you know what uh with the smiling faces for every negative comment there was 15 good comments that's which right. you know makes us want to do this that's right that's right you guys did your best and, and you did you did for sure for sure so uh, I, I, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention uh, our condolences to, to you, your, the Society, the Lombardi Agricult Agricultural Society, with the loss of Louise Blair recently. Very sudden. What a, a great member, past president, you were saying, to your society as well? Past president, longtime director, longtime um, volunteer, her family as well, uh, her boys, just a overall wonderful woman it was uh, a devastating shock to all of us um, we actually gathered on saturday at the hall um, the family had a, a celebration of life at the hall and it was just it was beautiful and fitting and we've got some huge shoes to fill um losing losing louise losing anyone really but we just uh we now understand exactly what that wonderful, powerful woman uh, did on a day-to-day -day basis for our society. Well, on behalf of your TV Smith Falls, we are so sorry. Uh, we know we know her very well, too. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. Like you say, big shoes to fill, big shoes to fill. So once again, you do have a pancake supper Tuesday, February 21st. Starts at 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock till 7, free will donation. It's going to, our, it's all the money stays in our community. That's right. That's right. And you've got a family fun day. That's Monday, February 20th. Starts at 11.30? 11.30 till 3, and it's free. So come on out and have some fun. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And once again, let's, uh, we love talking about things that, going, that are going on at our Lombardi Hall just out the highway. So 
Jackie Warrington, you are the advertising director. You've got lots of things to uh, be advertising this year, I hope, and I know you will. Things are opening up and it's wonderful. We're going to do our very best as always. You always do. You always do. Thanks for joining us.